Welcome to Trapped in the Upstate. I am currently here to answer the age-old question, what is an escape room? Not telling um, you know, it's an experience. You experience it and that's how you understand an escape room. So we decided, let's give you an experience real quick before you know you ever come in, you're like, oh, what's an escape room? Watch this video and I'll show you exactly what that is. Okay, I'm here. So your timer has started. You are in an escape room and you have no idea what to do. That's okay, a lot of people don't. So what you wanna do first, of course, is explore. Check out the room, find all the items that you can. Uh, in this room specifically that we're gonna go over, the first thing you would find is a box just like this, is a little puzzle box right here. It has a bunch of little pieces that you're gonna take apart to hopefully find something inside, which we just might. And it And there is, perfect. So you might find something like this. This can't pass for a Henry. Um, okay, pass number 406. As you can tell. Oh, it is locked. I cannot open it. Uh, it has a little lock on here with three digits to get it open. One, two, three, just like that. Hmm, if you think about it, this is three digits. Henry's pass right here also has three digits. Maybe we could try this 406 onto this lock and see if it opens. Let's try that real quick. And just like that, it is open. So yeah, you've solved your first puzzle. Well, technically second box, but your first official puzzle in the escape room. That gets this lock open. That lets you open up the bag just like this, find out what's inside. So now that we have this guide from the bag, we're gonna figure out what exactly to do with it. We open up the first page and we notice the first page is about knot tying. And we can tell that there are knots down here on this canoe. Each of these knots are gonna give us a number from that guide. As you can tell, there are numbers on top of each of them. So what we'll do next is solve, uh, figure out what each of these knots are and get numbers from each of them. Our next step is to get these knots in a particular order, a correct one to get our lock open. In order to do that, we notice there are numbers on the side of the canoe right here. There's a three, there's an eight, there's a nine, and we're gonna take each of these knots and pull them to the side of the canoe as these numbers are very important when you find them. This knot is right next to number three. This, the figure eight, which was the sixth knot in our guide, which means that the number six will be the third number in our code. So our code will be blank, blank, six. The next knot. So we've gone our code backwards from these uh, knots right here. Three, two, then one, which means our code is gonna be seven, let's see, seven, one, six. That is our code. We're gonna find a place to put that, which would be down here where this box is. So you're gonna type in, or you'll be spinning the digits on this lock to seven, one, six. You pop that open, and then you have another puzzle solved. So that is a taste of something you might expect here in an escape room. Uh, more than anything, I recommend you come on down, play something yourself. I would, of course, recommend it more than anything. Get a good idea of what to expect when you walk in through those doors and start a game of your own. It's always good to get your own experience, and I totally recommend that. Otherwise, um, it's been great giving you a little lesson here today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully we get to see you soon.